and uh, from an income perspective because uh, like for example from our region our income comes from agriculture this finance bill must answer the question then after implementing this finance bill what then will be the guaranteed minimum price of tea because it was a commitment what will be the guaranteed minimum price of coffee what will be the guaranteed minimum of price of milk of cotton of pileathrum and of other farm produce because that was the main commitment to farmers so is coffee going to go to 200 as a committed as an output of this finance bill that is what those people expect because they might not understand the numbers very clearly and the argument today but the impact of this to them is what they need to take home so kenya kwanza must tell us out of this finance bill then what will be the guaranteed price of coffee to mount kenya farmers of tea of milk of rice because that was their commitment as we speak tea attracts about 42 levies 42 taxes and uh, when i was a governor together with governor of uh, Kerich, we had actually gone to court and the matter is still in court trying to challenge the 42 levies against tea as a crop or as a sector the matter is still in court so those are the matters which this bill is supposed to be resolving for our farmers but they're just giving us figures which are actually indicative of the fact that fertilizer is going to go up the cost of transport is going to go up packaging costs is going to go up so when are we going then how are we then going to get those deliverables that is very important they must tell especially because i'm from central and i'm not biased and i'm speaking also for others then what will be the price of the guaranteed minimum price of coffee to farmers tea milk cotton that was a commitment so they can do what they want but then announce those prices as part of the finance bill lastly this is not the only finance bill we are going to have other